Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Well, good evening, everybody. We've got some very nice conditions outside, if not a little on the breezy side. You can see those winds really bouncing around our sky tracker, making for an unstable look, but a pretty look at the Odessa skyline. We've got those lights out there this time of year. It looks very, very beautiful. And overhead, we've got some fairly clear conditions. Starting to see a little bit of cloud cover blow in from some locations, but right now, Odessa and Midland, we're under some mostly clear skies. And switching over here to our satellite and radar, you can see that the winds are actually coming in out of the west, pushing a lot of cloud cover off to our north. Now, there's not a whole lot of energy with this next system. It's just some strong winds in the upper parts of the atmosphere, but it isn't good enough to bring a little snow to places like Denver, a little rain to Las Vegas, but I expect most of that energy to actually skirt off to our north and miss us just about entirely here in West Texas, kind of like most of these clouds are missing the basin entirely. You can see a little cloud cover off to the north, a little cloud cover down to the south of I-10, even some clouds beginning to pop up around Pecos towards the end of the satellite and radar loop, but again, that's mostly missing the basin. Now, as we get into tomorrow afternoon, we're going to start to see those westerly winds in the upper parts of the atmosphere translate to the surface. In fact, we'll already start to see some gap winds beginning to develop in the Guadalupe Pass by about the early morning hours, right around sun sunrise. We'll start to see those winds picking up to about 30 miles per hour. So very, very windy through the pass in the morning time, but it only gets windier from there. You can see those winds really ramping up as we head into the afternoon time. Those pinkish colors in indicate winds up to about 50, 60 miles per hour. So very, very strong winds out there. If you have a truck route or anything like that through the Guadalupe Pass, make sure to be careful. Starting this evening, we'll begin to see those gap winds picking up. And as we head into tomorrow afternoon, they will be at their peaks. So again, make sure to be careful out there. Those winds definitely good enough to pick up some blowing dust, which can inhibit visibility. That's likely to occur here in the basin too, because wind speeds out this way will be up to about 25 plus miles per hour and gusting much stronger than that. So again, Again, be careful out there tomorrow. Those winds will die down once the sun sets. For the most part, notice those gap winds stay in place as we head from Friday night into Saturday morning. And then once we get to Saturday afternoon, those winds pick up once again before dying down as we again head into the sunset hours. So a very windy Christmas Eve and a breezy Christmas day, but at least temperatures are going to be pretty nicely warm. We'll be backing down into the 50s for tomorrow morning. So again, a warm start, especially considering the time of the year. It is December, it's winter time, but it really isn't going to feel like it by 8 a.m. Odessa Midland at 56 degrees, 50 even for Wink, and 60 for Fort Stockton. And that'll lead us to a very warm afternoon. Highs will pick up into the 80s. We could be breaking some high temperature records for tomorrow, so that'll be something to look forward to. But more importantly, I think a bigger thing to look forward to is Christmas Day on Saturday, and it's going to be a very nice day. Again, a little windy out there with those winds picking up to about 20 plus miles per hour, so watch out for that blowing dust. Take the precautions there if you do happen to be susceptible to that dust. If you're allergic, you have allergies. But as we head to Sunday, those winds die down. Temperatures pick up for a short time before cooling down, heading into the work week next week. Madeline, I know, not a white Christmas, but kind of like a summer, spring-like Christmas, maybe? More like summer, yeah. 84 yeah. degrees on Christmas Eve. I've never seen it. You had to be here to believe it. <laughs> no, I've West been here. Texas. I've been here a while, and I don't think we've had a Christmas this warm ever. So it's something, I think, new for all of us. New for all of us. We'll take it. Mm. Thanks, Chase. Thanks.